What is the best exercise to improve your skin? Exercise is an incredible gift to our health. Its benefits are vast, from reducing the risks of heart attacks and strokes, cancer and combating Alzheimer's disease and diabetes. If exercise were a pill, it would be the most potent drug ever developed. Hi, I'm Dr. Finbar, and on this channel, I focus on improved skin health. So let's look at a new study about how exercise can rejuvenate aging skin. While all exercise can enhance skin health, it's crucial to shield your skin from harmful UV rays when you're exercising outdoors. But does the type of exercise matter? This study aimed to test if there's a difference between aerobic exercises such as swimming, cycling and running against resistance exercises like strength training in terms of its skin health benefits. And guess what? There is actually a difference in the benefits to your skin health between these two types of exercise. You see, as we age, our skin loses its elasticity and becomes thinner due to the decline in collagen, elastin and other structural proteins in the dermis. And the dermis is this deeper layer of skin here below the upper layer called the epidermis. Furthermore, age-induced inflammation impedes the production of these vital skin proteins. In the study, 56 middle-aged women either undertook aerobic exercises or resistance training. They followed their respective routines twice a week for 16 weeks. And the results? Well, both exercises significantly improve skin elasticity and the structure of the upper level of the dermis. And this enhancement is attributed to an increase in collagen, hyaluronic acid, and other structural proteins. Now, both aerobic and resistance training have a beneficial effect on circulating hormones and myokines, which is a type of signaling protein released from muscle cells to reduce inflammation in the body. So that's a great thing. But here's the difference between aerobic and resistance exercise, because resistance training offered an added benefit by uniquely thickening the dermis, which as I mentioned earlier, naturally thins as we age. So this study suggests that resistance training reduces inflammatory factors such as these, which usually inhibits or reduce components such as biglycan, which is a glycose amino glycan or GAG, and those are key components giving structure to the dermis. Now other gags or glycosaminoglycans include hyaluronic acid, which you've probably heard of because the big skin companies market it very heavily and stick it into a lot of their products. Now we'll talk more on that another time. As the biglycans are no longer being inhibited or blocked, they can get on with their job of interacting with collagen fibers, helping to stabilize and organize them. This contributes to the strength and the structural integrity integrity of the skin, leading to a thicker, stronger dermis. And that's what we want. We want a thick, strong dermis to keep us looking young and prevent sagging and lines forming. So in summary, both aerobic and resistant exercises rejuvenate aging skin through their effects on structural proteins like collagen. Yet resistance training has an edge by thickening that dermal layer, thanks to its anti-inflammatory effects and the boost in bioglycan. So what do I recommend then? Aerobic or strength training? Well, I do both aerobic and resistance training each week to reap maximum skin health and longevity benefits. Aerobic exercise has so many benefits from mitochondrial health and cardiovascular health, reduction in cancers, dementia, and many other things, while resistance training is a powerful tool against sarcopenia. And sarcopenia is the age-related decline in muscle mass. This loss of strength can hinder simple activities from getting out of a chair to climbing stairs, and we probably all know relatives who struggle with these simple activities, even if we don't uh, struggle ourselves. And this sarcopenia and reduced muscle mass greatly contributes to compromising our quality of life. And even worse, it can lead to accidents like falls, and this can result in potentially life-threatening fractures. Now, if this information resonated with you, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Your support helps grow this channel more than you might think. And if you're curious about my skincare routine, why not check out this other video.